Have you ever tried to become someone who works out every day, checks email only once, sticks to a healthy diet, becomes an early riser, and failed consistently in every single one? I know for me this happened too many times to count, and often my mind would be stuck on the 21 days to form the habit. But how true really is this? And is it possible to make a habit automatic in a shorter period of time? What's going on everyone? My name is Andy and I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to come and watch this video on this channel dedicated to helping you become the best version of yourself. If you'd like to join the Monday Mindset Club where you learn how to push your mindset, habits and is the only email at the start of the week you're actually happy to get, then you can join it with the link down below. I would love to have you a part of the community. I used to fail at basically every habit that I ever tried to build and I was always fixated on the 21 days, the sort of study that was done where it takes 21 days to form a habit and that's it. That's all you need. And whenever I reached those 21 days, I felt that was it. That was complete. It was in my routine. I was now that identity and that's how I would move forward. And each time I would go back to the poorer habit I had before in less than a week. It was completely my fault, obviously, that I put the 21 days as the dead set and that was how you would form a habit. I've built habits before in less than 21 days and still consistently do them to this day without even thinking about it. So there must be some truth to it. Right? Our lives are formed through habits. We're creatures of them. Everything we do on a daily basis eventually becomes automatic because we've done it so frequently. It allows us to use less brain power to focus on the tasks that take more energy and actually allow us to do things without thinking about them. In the past, this was things to make sure that you wouldn't be eaten by predators. Now it's probably about tying your lace and eating breakfast in the morning. <laughs> Dr. Malks was a plastic surgeon and found that when he ever changed someone's appearance or they had an amputated leg or arm, it would often take around 21 days to get used to the new feature that they have within their lives. He found as well that when correlating that back to his own habits, it often took him 21 days to perform the habit and make it automatic for himself. So then concluded that the 21 days was the minimum that it would take to actually form the habit and actually solidify it as that. Now this was in regards to the amputations of people having shadow limbs where they believed they still had it for around 21 days. And after this came out and a lot of the big self-help gurus and more people started talking about it, it became the global phenomenon. It takes 21 days to build a habit and that's it. The problem that happened to many, including myself, was that 21 days of successful completion of the habit would allow you to master whatever you want to do. Didn't matter what it was or what you were trying, but if you completed it for 21 days, you had now formed the habit for yourself. And you could relax. You could sit back and enjoy the habit and the life that you've always wanted to live. Sadly, this isn't, this isn't the case. <laughs> University College London actually conducted a study on this and found that it took around 66 days to form the habit. And this was ranging from drinking water every day to exercising each day. Some of these habits even took around 254 days to completely form as an automatic habit at that point. But don't let those numbers discourage you. Habits are formed and become automatic at different times for different people, depending on the complexity. If you wanted to drink water every day for the rest of your life, it probably wouldn't be that hard. But if you're trying to study aeronautical engineering, it's gonna be a little harder to keep consistent if you're trying to do that for four hours a day, every day for the rest of your life. My biggest mistake was that once I reached the 21 days, I felt that the habit was complete. But in reality, it's just the beginning. How do we actually build our habit into an identity then? Into who we actually want to be? There's three simple steps I'm gonna talk about today that you can implement right now and how you can actually start forming and creating automatic habits to make your life way better. The first one is the mini habit builder. Habits become really overwhelming so quickly because when we try to do them for the first time, we go all in, maximum effort as Deadpool, isn't it? <laughs> and put so much pressure on ourselves that it really just becomes something we hate in the first three days. I'll run for 40 minutes each morning, no matter the weather. After six years of not running, yep, good luck with that. <laughs> we need to break down the habits and form a sort of mini habit within the habit we actually want to build. If you want to become someone who does run marathons every single weekend, then you can't start there. You have to break it down into small and actually achievable places. What I'd recommend is making it so simple that it sounds stupid. Someone who wants to go to the gym, go to the gym, walk in the door, 
stand there for a minute and walk back out. That will be your habit for the first week. That's all you've got to do. Because what you eventually realize is that you have taken the time to get up and go to the gym and you're thinking, I'm an absolute idiot. I've just stood here and literally walked back out. At that point, you're going to say to yourself, I may as well go and do something. But there is where we need to catch ourselves Because when we do want to go in and we take that week of just standing there and walking back out, when we go in for that first time when we're actually in the gym, you're only going to do one thing and you're going to walk back out again. When you do this consistently over a week to three week periods and do it really, really small, you understand that this habit is going to be built over a longer period of time. That your willpower to actually do this is going to be brought up over a period of time. You're not going to instantly be able to go to the gym and lift the heaviest weight you've ever done in your life and beat the world record. It takes a lot of time. So by doing this, you're making your habits so simple that it would be hard to not actually do and therefore are able to build it slowly to become a part of your identity in your mind and makes it easier to become automatic in the long run. Remember, you're trying to build a habit for life. You want to become healthier, you want to be a better person. This isn't something that over 30 days, you're just instantly gonna become the best thing you've ever done in your life. The first 30 days are where it changes it all. And that's where the foundation of the identity comes in. The second part is accountability and something that's often overlooked. Accountability helps you in every format. The only reason you'd done homework in school was because you had that accountability of your teachers probably checking the homework. Some of us still didn't do it at that point, which shows that our motivation to even do some of that tedious work wasn't even there in that case. This is why finding people who are wanting to do what you're wanting to do can actually push you forward way more than you would by yourself. If you've ever gone to the gym with someone and you've done the same routine that you've done by yourself but with someone else this time, you'll see that you probably lift heavier and more when you're with that other person. Whether that's a competitive nature in your mind or whether you just want to show that you're willing to put in more work to push them forward as well, accountability holds you accountable for being better. You also have a slight thing where you don't want to let others down. If you've committed to saying, I'm going to go running in the morning with you at this time, then you don't want to let the other person down. If they show up and you don't show up, they're going to be disappointed and sort of let down with what you've done. And you don't really want that feeling and that on your conscience the whole day. Therefore, you're more likely to go than if you were to just say, I'm going to go run in the morning. Yeah, that's it. This can also add on to causing a pain point in your life. You want to hold yourself accountable and sometimes you need a little bit extra push for things more than just accountability. So by being able to meet someone at a certain time, you've got a pain point of having that on your guilty conscience by not actually turning up. It's a little bit of a weirder method, but it works. If you're someone who's tried this before and you're thinking as I'm saying this, Andy, I've already done it. It just doesn't work for me. I've not even showed up and I don't even feel that bad for not showing up. Well, let's bring something that's really painful to most people and that's money. One of the things I'd done when I tried to start getting up at 6 a.m. consistently was tell my brother if I didn't get up at 6 a.m. I would give him a hundred pound and transfer that to him for him to spend on whatever he wants and I couldn't get it back. This made me get up at 6 a.m. every single morning whether I liked it or not and I only done it for a week because then I started to slowly build that into the routine that I wanted to do and was actually getting work done early in the morning. I have saw some people who will pay their trainers a thousand pound if they don't turn up to a PT session because it forces them to do so. You're causing so much pain that it would be easier to actually turn up than to not do anything at all. And if you have something in your life that you really don't want to give up, money is usually quite a big thing in that front, then you can cause that accountability to force you in to identifying as that person before it's become automatic. And it allows you to eventually see, you know what, this is probably beneficial. I'm going to keep doing it. Accountability is one of the best things that you can do. And if you can find people to surround yourself with who want to push themselves forward as well, then it's a win-win. The final thing we're going to talk about today is repetition. What I found is that it isn't often completion of the habit each day over the consistent basis that gets you closer to the automatic stage. It's the number of times that you do it that actually does. I remember seeing a graph a while ago about it and how it's the sort of learning curve, but for your habits. As you complete it more and more, you get closer to the automatic phase because the neurons in your brain are connecting those dots for you and showing that this is something we are becoming. We are this identity. And by repeating it consistently two, three times a day for one minute out of your day, you're showing yourself, this is what I want to do. This is who I want to become. Completing habits over each day is still great, but most people struggle to do it for the first 30 days. 
and why if we're actually able to add it as repetition rather than repetition in days but repetition in number of times that we are actually doing it within those days this is going to lead us to quicker identify as the person we want to become it's sort of like playing sport you slowly see yourself improving as you consistently work on something day in and day out. If you focus solely on passing for six weeks twice a day, you will see a massive shift than if you were to just do it once a week. You're able to change your identity quicker and you're able to connect the dots quicker for yourself to figure out who that person is becoming and why. If we take it again like the gym, doing it over and over again allows you to get more reps in for the day. Instead of just doing two or three with a heavier weight, you're doing 16 to 17 with a lighter weight. I don't know why I went for those numbers and sometimes lifting heavier is better, but at the start when we're trying to build it up, you need to get the foundation sorted. You need to get warmed up just like anything in life. It takes time and you need to prepare yourself for the life that is actually going to happen in the future. Nothing changes right away and we'll speak about that often in this channel. It takes time and dedication to actually build it and I hope that maybe this YouTube video can help hold you accountable for what you want to do. And I'm looking for the future to try to bring something in that can hold people more accountable for the habits that they're trying to build to finally formulate the life they want to do. Problem with things like YouTube videos is that you can watch this video and then go on to watch six others and completely forget what you even learned about here. And this is why sometimes that accountability and those pain points can be the best thing for you to actually move forward with what you want to do. The 21 day to building habits isn't complete bullshit. There's some truth to it if your habit is wanting to drink water every day. But there's no question that you can do it earlier if the pain is bad enough. Some people have quit smoking from just seeing one experience and some people have quit drinking from doing the same. Others take years of development and foundational building to get to where they want to go. And that's okay. Everyone's different and everyone works in different ways. It's just about figuring out how you want to move forward and taking those small steps to get into the person you want to be. Again, if you'd like to catch up with me on social media, I mainly post over on Instagram with habit building, mindset development and more. And I'd love to have a conversation with you if you'd like to follow me over there and keep up on my day to day. Thank you for all the patrons who continue to support me on this channel. And I know the video on the screen right now is something that you will enjoy to watch. Have a fantastic day.